In this life, you went through a lot of hell and a lot of drama and a lot of chaos dealing with situations, people, places, things. But God is telling someone today, peace will be restored unto you if you let go of what no longer serves you and your higher calling and your higher good. This is when your peace will be restored unto you. All those chaotic situations that God delivered you out of, the people that slandered your name, the people that humiliated you, the people that abused you, mocked you, made fun of you. God saying, let it go. Let it go so the peace of God could be restored unto you. God is trying to give you your peace back. Y'all, my peace came back when I let go of what no longer served me. I let go of bad relationships. I let go of toxic family. I let go of jobs that really didn't have my best interests at heart. And this, my peace is coming back to me. I even moved out of state. So hopefully that's some motivation or some encouragement for somebody. God is saying, let it go. It's no longer serving you and your purpose. This is why it's so chaotic. This is why you're falling out with all these people. This is the reason why you don't get along with these people because it's no longer serving you in your higher good. Look at you. When you start having your peace back, you're gonna notice a glow that come up on your spirit. It's gonna be a heavenly glow along with a halo, an unseen halo around you because angels are guiding you and protecting you while God is trying to restore your peace that the devil tried to rob away from you in your life. The devil wants to rob you of your peace, but the Holy Spirit wants to restore your peace. If it's taking your peace away, it is too expensive for your good. This is the reason why God wants to give you true peace. And true peace come from the blessings that God give you. And if people are robbing you of your peace, them are not the people for you. If that certain living environment is robbing you of your peace, that ain't the environment for you either. God wants you in an area of peace where you can focus on him and what he wants you to do this season. Nothing wrong with being by yourself and alone during this time when God is working on you to restore you from how he wants you to be, how you should be, your life path, your life calling. Yet these people want to rob you of the peace that God wanted to give you. This is how you know these people were mental and toxic. See, mental people and toxic people don't understand peace. This is the reason why they cause so much hell and chaos in people's lives. They love arguing. They love fighting. They love drama all day, every day. They hate peace because somewhere mentally, they don't understand true peace because somewhere in there, they probably just don't have the Holy Spirit working through them. It's all about control with these people. And if they can't control you or tell you what to do, then they ready to fight, have a bone pick with you, be stupid with you, put you in some unnecessary drama and slander your name in front of others just to keep you from having peace because they can't control and dictate your life. This is not a dictatorship relationship. This is what you should start telling people. We are not in a dictatorship where you do what I, where I do what you tell me to do and I ain't got no say so on what I feel and how I'm supposed to think or what I feel about the situation. You want to dictate me. This is not a dictatorship. And this is what you should tell people. You are not going to dictate who I am as a person. Because my job is to be about my Heavenly Father's business. And that's what you should start telling people. Your job is to be about the Heavenly Father's, the Heavenly Kingdom's business in order to make this world a better place. Yet these people want to keep you in a dictatorship situation where they manipulate you. They tell you what to do. And then they don't even ask you if you're miserable or not or how you're feeling because it's all about them and what they want. Leave these miserable people where they at. Leave these toxic, negative, low vibrational people where they at. 
Let them pick somebody else to pick on. It just won't be you. There's no more bullying in you because you are a child of the most high and you don't need nobody bullying you when you already know who you are through the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah. God told you who you are. God is revealing who you are. So you don't need anybody coming up in here telling you who you are when the Holy Spirit already made himself manifest to you and told you who you are through the power of his glory and his might. You are a new person. I don't know who this world word is for, but you are made over. You are new. You're not the same. You are anointed by God as the time as this, and you're starting to glow, and you're starting to shine because you let go of what no longer served you. You are losing your glow because you were hanging on to people and things that did not have your best interests at heart. But God said you're starting to get your glow back. Now you can focus on the purpose that he had for your life because you're no longer distracted by a whole bunch of distractions. These people were distractions for you and where God wanted you to go. And you notice that since you were removed away from these people, you ain't got no more distractions when you removed your energy. Now they got to find somebody else to harass, find somebody else to bully, find somebody else to pick on because it won't be you. It won't be you no more. So you slammed that door on their faces and said, not ever again. And you went forward about your way as you rightfully should have done. There's no more bullying in you as a Holy Spirit anointed child that you are. No more bull bullying and treating you like you're less than. There's no more of that. God said he got you going for a higher purpose and calling than drama, than foolishness, than unnecessary things and toxic situations and toxic environments. God said, give him a little more time to continue to work on you. Give him a little more time. Stay fasted. Stay praying in your word. Stay doing those things because God wants to make you over. God wants to transform your life for the better, not for the worse. Do you trust God? Do you trust God you just watching this video? Or do you trust your circumstances more? We got to learn to trust God more, even though we're in hellish situations. But when God tell you it's time to move forward and go, you better go. If God telling you to leave that toxic environment or your toxic family behind, you better do what he asks you to do. Because it could be a whole lot worse if you hang on and linger around the situation. God said, remove your energy. You don't need the toxic energy from people. You don't need that. You need peace. Peace be still. Peace be still in your life. Yeshua, a prime example of true peace. That it was a storm in the sea, wavering in the sea while the disciples was out there. And they noticed that a man was on the water and they thought it was a ghost or a spirit. They didn't know they got afraid. But it was Yeshua standing on water, literally standing on water, on top of the ocean water, controlling the waves. And he told one of the disciples, and I think it was Peter, he said, Peter, come on the water. And Peter started to walk on the water because he was showing Peter peace. It was very symbolic him walking on water. He was at peace that even the waters had to obey him. That's how much peace he was at because peace come from the heavenly father, true peace. But when Peter started to walk on water, he started to drown. Peter started to drown. It's because he started to doubt. That's why you can't doubt. When you at true peace, Doubt can't even sit in your spirit because you're at peace. So it was very significant when Yeshua was walking on the water in front of the disciples. And he said, Peter, why do you doubt, O ye of little faith? This is what he told Peter. Do you have that type of peace where you can walk, where you can stand out on the ocean 
and walk on water. Do you have that type of peace? Do you have that type of faith and peace in your spirit? Where you can get out on the water and just walk because you at peace with the Almighty, the Heavenly Father, the I am that I am that's in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you have true peace where you can walk on water and cause the ocean waves, the storm to calm at the sound of your voice? That's the peace that Yeshua had. That's the peace that he had on this earth. True peace. From the Heavenly Father. God wants to give you true peace. And he wants to give you gifts. As a result of the peace that he wants to give you. God wants you in a peaceful marriage. I don't know who that word is for. He don't want you in no more chaotic, destructive relationships. And that word could be applied to me as well. No more of that. He want to give you his best. Where you and your spouse to come together in true love. Where God is at the head of y'all relationship. He's guiding y'all in y'all relationship so he can give y'all true peace in that marriage. In that relationship. Peace comes from God. Chaos and confusion comes from the devil. Ain't you tired of the chaos and confusion? Aren't you ready for true peace? Glory, hallelujah. Are you ready for true peace, God is saying? Peace be still. Peace be still. That walking on water peace. <laughs> I know that might be a little bit too much for some of y'all. Because you never thought to walk on water. But somebody got some true faith. And God want to lift that faith. It might even be me. Might go to the beach one day down here in beautiful Florida and start walking on ocean water. <laughs> that's peace. I know I'm laughing, but that's the truth because it's recorded in the scriptures that it can be done. <laughs> Do you want that type of peace where you're walking on ocean shores water? On top of the water. <laughs> that lead me to the movie Bruce Almighty. There's a movie with Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. Where God gave him the gifts, uh, gave him his um, his power. This is Jim Carrey. That's the role he played in Bruce Almighty. And on the scene at the beginning when he first got the powers manifested to him from the Almighty. He started running on the water. Running on the water on top of the water. And I started laughing. But that's the type of faith and the peace that God wants to give his children. You can do all things that Christ that strengthens you. All things. You can do all things that Christ do strengthen you. He's, God does not want the devil to rob y'all of your peace. No. God wants you to be whole and he wants you to be free along with peace. If you're single by yourself, that means God want to love on you a little longer so he can make you into the woman or the man that he called you to be. Your, your divine purpose. He wants you to reach your divine potential in this life. Yes, we all have a purpose here. But children of the light, children of the Holy Spirit, God desires for you to reach your divine purpose for his heavenly kingdom and glory. I'm so excited about what God is about to do in a lot of y'all lives on coming up soon or whenever he's ready. A lot of y'all, that time is right now. This is why God got you in a period of isolation so you can focus on him. True peace, divine peace. No longer are you going to be attached or associated with people that's robbing you of your peace. And I do not care if them people are, are family members or blood relatives or just anything. Anywhere where people are robbing you of your peace, God does not want you to deal with that any longer. He wants you to be at peace. He wants you to be holy. He wants you to be radiant. But God wants you to be at peace. Excuse the lighting right now. It started brightening up outside so it 
I guess the lighting is starting to be off because the light <laughs> is starting to come out outside because it got done raining all day in Florida today. So it's starting to mess up with the lighting. Bear with me. There's a point I'm trying to make. God wants you at peace. And he wants you to separate from people that's going to rob you of that peace. I am at peace for the first time in my life when I let go of what no longer served me. And this is what God is trying to get somebody else to understand. You got to let it go. Let it go. Let the people go that's robbing you of your peace. I don't care if it's your mother. I don't care if it's your father. I don't care if it's a sibling. I don't care if it's a cousin. I don't care if it's a co-worker at your job or management. If it's robbing you of your peace, God said, let it go. Let it go because it's no longer serving you. And the purpose that God, the divine purpose that God got for your life, glory, hallelujah. Divine peace, true peace. Y'all, I am at peace right now living in Florida. Tomorrow, June 12th, 2024, will mark the second year that I have lived in Florida. The second year. I moved here June 12th, 2022. And man, that two years went by quick. And I haven't even really explored Florida like I really wanted to. Not even the city of Tampa where I'm living at. It's still a lot I got to explore and do. But I'm finally getting my peace back. When I let go of a a supposed fraudulent lover that I caught myself getting involved with when I first moved here to Florida. That situation robbed me of my peace, my time, my energy, and everything associated with me. And that person took everything from me. But since I don't have anybody in my energy no more and I've been focused on God and the Holy Spirit, my peace is starting to come back. And I want that peace to stay. Can't no man in this earth get me that type of peace other than the Holy Spirit. And I noticed lately, I've been spending a lot of time with the Holy Spirit. I've been giving you prophetic messages. I've been reading my Bible. I've been praying. Just focus on the Holy Spirit and my peace is coming back. So I don't want anybody else in my life that's going to rob me of my peace. And you should not want that either. The next people that God sent in my life. It better come straight from him. I'm not accepting anybody or anything or any type of foolishness no more. Because I know what true peace looks like. And if you come to rob and steal from me of my peace of mind and come and abuse and disrespect and manipulate me, I would know that you are not from God coming to me. Because God is going to bless me and enhance my life. The person is going to add to my life and give me true peace not foolishness because that person is supposed to be led by the holy spirit for their life if they want to be associated with me and i'm filled with the holy spirit glory hallelujah glory hallelujah true peace divine peace let go of what lo no longer serve you and serve god so you can live to your highest standard and your divine calling that God wants for your life. And that's the prophetic message I have for a royal one on tonight. Please let go of what no longer serve you and serve God with your full heart so he can restore your peace and make you whole all over again. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.